Hey guys, welcome to another video episode of Coin Sutra, your Bitcoin wallet expert. And today video is for all the Trezor wallet user. If you are an existing Trezor wallet user, this video is for you. Or if you are planning to buy a Trezor wallet, this video is also for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can recover your Trezor wallet from your seed word. So for the first time when you set up your Trezor wallet, you you create a backup of the seed word. That's 24 words. And you can use this technique to also, you know, restore your wallet, any other wallet. Let's say you, you are using Mycelium or any other wallet before and you just ordered Trezor wallet. You can use those seed word to restore your wallet in the Trezor. And yeah, there are multiple uses. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know why you want to do that. Here is what we have right now. We have a Trezor wallet. It's a factory reset Trezor wallet, brand new. And we have this 24 seed word. Uh, don't worry, there is no Bitcoin in this. This is just for the demo purpose. So I will show you how you can restore your wallet using those 24 seed word. So very first thing that you need to do is you need to connect your Trezor wallet to your laptop using the USB cable and open the website wallet.trezor.io. I've added the link in the description. Use that link to open the site to be safe and secure. So. Here we are. So this is what the first screen says. You need to label the device. Uh, but what we are doing here is we want to restore our wallet from recovery seat. So this option is on the right end. Just click on Trezor Recovery. Let's give it a name. Let's give it a name as Coin Sutra. And since our, uh, in this case, our number of words are 24, use that. You can also enable pin protection. Of course, that's highly recommended. You can additionally, you know, make your Bitcoin more secure by using passphrase encryption. And then there is this advanced recovery option. Advanced recovery option is again more secure, but it takes a lot of time. So for this video, I'm skipping the advanced recovery. However, if you have actually have a lot of Bitcoin in your wallet, you should use advanced recovery. It's more secure. So let's Click on continue. It's asking you to enter the new pin. You need to see your Trezor screen to see the uh, you know numeric behind this all these dots. So let's again use one, two, three, four for this video. And let's confirm one, two, three, four. Now here we goes. Here's the interesting thing. So you need to enter the word. However, the number of the word, the order of the word is shown only on your screen. So that way is you are more secure. Um, initially, I felt like, you know, just entering the recovery word on your computer is a bit risky. However, it's asking you to enter random words, you know, numeric words, which kind of still adds another level of security. So let's do that. In this case, my wallet is asking me to enter the 12th word. So let me do that. And then it's asking you to enter 14th word. That's let's quickly finish this. All right. So I've entered the, all the 24, 24 words and started recovering my wallet. I just need to enter the pin one more time. So let's quickly do that. And that's it. Like my, Trezor wallet just recovered from my seed words and I can start using Trezor. However, there is no Bitcoin here and now I can start receiving Bitcoin. So if you want to send Bitcoin, I've added the donation link in the description below. And if you have any question regarding Trezor wallet, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. In the next video, I'll, I'll do a comparison of Trezor and Leisure Nano wallet. And you can browse our website for more Bitcoin wallet and security content. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is your host, Harsh Agrawal from Coinsutra.com. And wait, wait. Do not forget to like and share this video. If you find this video useful, do share it with your friend who are into Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. It would help them to keep their Bitcoin secure and they might thank you later in some time. Bye-bye.